All right, ladies and gentlemen, very quickly, what we're going to do here is walk through what the Autodesk 360 website looks like, how to make folders in both the browser version, and then also we're going to do it on the uh, flip it over and do it in the application version here in a moment. So I'm going to go ahead and sign in. And so what we got here is my very basic top of my SkyDrive. And so in here, you can go into your projects. And so your admin projects are things that only you have initially access to. You might uh, start projects where you are part of or for what we're going to do in this class is right here. Everybody has access to this folder. So what you're going to do then is create new folder and this will create a new folder within this uh, system. So we're going to call this just, uh, you know, test folder. And then it pops up right here. So you see test folder, you see who it belongs to, and then you can do a couple different things. We can, on um, this test folder, we can move it, we can delete it, we can rename it, a couple of things right there. So what I'm going to do is show you on the how to do this on the application-based system as well. So what we're going to do is click on Fusion, and then when you open up the application-based system, it looks like this. So if you click on the top left, you got the data panel, and we see that I have my same things, my admin project folder, which belongs to me, and then the IED 2021. So if we click on this, we can actually see the test folder here now. Now one thing that's not really easy to see or understandable is you can actually create new folders from here. So we can create a new folder, we'll call this test folder too. And there you go. So you can do things from either end. All right, I'm gonna right click and we're gonna delete this one though because we really don't need it. All right, if somebody is dealing with something or there's projects that are currently active being on, you can't delete a folder if something is being used at the moment. So what we're gonna do now is we can start a new design. And if we start a new design, you know, in here, we'll call this test design. It will automatically save in the area that you are most recently been in. So what we're gonna do here now is if we accidentally did something where it's not supposed to be, you can move. So if I right click and hit move, we can move this into where we want it to go. So I moved it into that test folder. And there we go. So what we can do is also on the same thing on the browser-based version, is that if we go over, we can find test folder. So we see test design, then we can put a new design in here, uh, which would then be a browser-based version. And so I don't typically use this too often. Um, or what we can do is, uh, you know, new folder, you can put folders within folders. You can also upload upload other things uh, as you want. All right, guys, that's it. So we've seen how both sides can get us the same way. What I prefer you get used to is that folder view manipulation within the application. Just that way you're not in two different locations to take care of something. All right, guys, that'll be it, and I'll catch you in the next video.